Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss the pharmacology puzzle. Let us see how we can solve a puzzle in the pharmacology. Let us learn the pharmacology with fun. And in this puzzle, let us take one drug and we have to identify what is the drug that is given. And within the puzzle, we will have information like the category of the drug and its side effects, clinical uses and some of the chemical features. By using few of the clues, we have to identify these uh, features of the drug and finally we have to identify what is the name of the drug. So let us play this game and first of all, let us see what are the different types of clues we can have in order to solve this puzzle. So these are the blocks and let us see the different clues within the blocks. First of all, let us take this row and for this, the question is one of the anti agent that acts on the renin angiotensin system. So here we have to fill with the drug name which is an antihypertensive as well as it is acting on the renin angiotensin system. Here we will discuss all the questions initially and you can try before we are going to the solution of this puzzle. After completing all the clues and completing the puzzle you will be able to identify what is the name of the drug. And if you got the name of the drug just post in the comment box. Now let us go to the second clue. Now at this block what is a clue given is one of the important side effect of this drug that is observed with all drugs in this category. So here we have to fill a side effect which is observed with all drugs within this category. Third one, this drug inhibits the metabolism of one of the chemical mediator. So you have to write the name of the chemical mediator whose metabolism is going to be inhibited by the given drug. Next one, at this block, one of the common side effect observed with all drugs acting on the renin angiotensin system. So here you have to fill the side effect which is not specific to one category which is common to two or more categories which are acting on the renin angiotensin system. For example, renin angiotensin system is having the AC inhibitors as well as ARBs. So what is the common side effect for both of these AC inhibitors as well as the ARBs. Next at this block, this drug is contraindicated in what is one of the contraindication of the given drug. Next one. The important functional group required for the activity of the drug is one of the important pharmacokinetic feature of this drug is next one this drug may elevate the levels of one of the mineral in the body next one within this category one of the drug that does not need any bioactivation is common ring system present in many of the drugs in this category is while using the drug for longer period serum levels of this parameter should be monitored. So which parameter we have to monitor when this drug is used for a longer periods. And the amino acid present in this drug is. So this drug is having the two amino acids. So what are the second amino acid that is present in this drug? Now let us see the solution for this pharmacology puzzle. And just we have seen few of the questions and the blocks. Now let us go one by one. And if you are able to give the answer for each question, you can pause the video and you can think and imagine what and what is the right answer for the given question. So now let us go with the each and every question and let us see how we can solve this puzzle in a easy way. So the first block is this and here the question is one of the anti hypertensive agent that acts on the renin angiotensin system is the selected area is having the nine blocks. So we have to fill with a drug name having the nine letters. Let us see how we can solve this. Here we have seen that it is an anti agent which is acting on the renin angiotensin system. So we mainly have two category of drugs like the AC inhibitors and second one is the angiotensin receptor blockers. And we can also have the renin inhibitors but they are not that much useful in the treatment of hypertension. So main two categories are the AC inhibitors and ARBs. AC inhibitors are ending with the suffix prill. So the count of the letters in the suffix is four. But in the ARBs, they are having the suffix sartan. So here the count is six. And already we have seen that we have to fill with a name of the drug having nine letters. So sartan already it is having the six letters. It is not suitable because uh, we cannot add any prefix with only three letters. For example, we have Olmi sartan, which is having the OLME four letters. Tell me sartan, irbi sartan. Most of the drugs are having the four letters. But in the AC inhibitors, since the suffix is having only four letters, we can add the another term 
with five letters in order to produce the name. So for the time being, let us think that the suffix of this block is going to be filled by the letter PRIL. So we are assuming that it is an AC inhibitor and let us see whether it is going to match with all the clues that are given with the different blocks. Now let us go with the second question. So this is the second block that is going to be given and here the question is one of the important side effect of this drug that is observed with all drugs in this category. So here one of the side effect which is having the second letter with R. So suppose here they are the prills that is the AC inhibitors. So prills produce the different side effects like the hypotension, renal failure, hyperkalemia and dry cough. In this way they produce a number of side effects and here the side effect which is having a second letter R is just like the dry cough. So this is the important side effect that is observed with not only this drug but all the drugs within this category is the dry cough. So AC inhibitors mainly produce a dry cough as the common side effect. So here let us check how we can fill. So dry cough that can be filled within this space. So here the side effect produced by all the prills is the dry cough. Now let us go to the third question. Now at this block the third question is this drug inhibits the metabolism of one of the chemical mediator. So what is the name of this chemical mediator? We know that prills are going to inhibit the AC enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme which is responsible for the conversion of the angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 but at the same time it can also metabolize the bradykinin into its metabolites. So since the prills are going to inhibit the AC enzyme they inhibit the metabolism of the bradykinin thereby they cause the accumulation of the bradykinin which results in the dry cough. So the right answer for this block is the bradykinin. Now within this block let us fill here this is the bradykinin. Next question for this block. One of the common side effect observed with all drugs acting on the renin angiotensin system. So here we have to identify the side effect which is common to the all drugs acting on the renin angiotensin system. That means a common side effect for the AC inhibitors as well as the AR base. All we have listed out the side effects of the prills. They produce hypotension, hyperkalemia, renal failure, dry cough. But here the hypotension is a common side effect of both AC inhibitors as well as the AR base because they are acting like antihypertensive agents they are going to reduce the synthesis or action of the angiotensin 2 thereby they produce a reduction in the blood pressure. So hypotension is a common side effect of all drugs acting on the renin angiotensin system. So now within this block we can fill it as hypotension. Next question. So here this drug is contraindicated in so what is one of the important contraindication of the AC inhibitors? Prills as well as sartans are going to be contraindicated in two conditions. One is they are teratogenic in nature so they are contraindicated in the pregnant woman and second thing they are contraindicated in the bilateral renal artery stenosis. Whenever the efferent and efferent arterioles are going to be narrowed in such conditions AC inhibitors as well as the ARBs are contraindicated. So one of the important contraindication of these drugs is the pregnancy. So let us fill this within the block. Next one. Important function group required for the activity of this drug is. So here we have four blocks and which is ending with the letter H. So AC inhibitors can have a general structure like this and one of the important function group that is required is the COOH. The carboxylic acid group when it is present as a free form they are acting like the active drugs. So here we can fill this gap with the COOH. Carboxylic acid group is required in order to show their activity. And for this block, one of the important pharmacokinetic feature of this drug is. And here this block is ending with the letter UG. So let us see what is going to fit at this space. The AC inhibitors otherwise the prills can be of two types. They are either active drugs otherwise they are the prodrugs. So we have two active drugs like the captopril and lisinopril. Remaining all drugs are prodrugs. Now since the block is going to end with the letter U and G, so it will be a prodrug. Now at this block we can fill with uh, prodrug. So this drug is a AC inhibitor which is uh, having the suffix pril and it produces a dry cough as the side effects. It is because of the accumulation of the bradykinin and it produces hypotension as the side effect. And this drug is active when it is having the free carboxylic acid. Finally, it acts as a prodrug. Now, let us see the next one. This drug may elevate the levels of one of the mineral. So, what is the name of the mineral? So, here it is starting with the POT. 
so it is very easy to say that it is the potassium so prills are going to produce a renal failure and because of the renal failure they decrease the excretion of the potassium resulting in the hyperkalemia so they are going to increase the potassium levels so here this block is going to fit with the name potassium so potassium is going to be elevated when the ac inhibitors are going to be used next one within this category one of the drug that does not need any bioactivation is so here the ending is the prill because of the, within this category all drugs are having the suffix prill then we have to identify the drug which does not need any bioactivation here we have the five blank spaces so it should start with the five letters so already we have seen the active drugs within the ac inhibitors are two types captopril and lisinopril captopril is having the nine letters whereas lisinopril is having the 10 letters captopril is better suit into the given space because it's having the nine letters so the right answer is the captopril so here one of the drug which does not need any bioactivation is the captopril because the captopril is the active drug which is having a free carboxylic acid next one is the common ring system present in many of the drugs in this categories so here it is starting with the letter pro pro and we have to fill the suffix of this one so again we can plot one of the ring system like this and here you can observe it is having a heterocyclic ring system this is nothing but the proline so most of the ac inhibitors are having the proline as one of the heterocyclic ring system so here we can fill the space with the proline next one while using this drug for longer period serum levels of this parameter should be monitored so when the prills are going to be used they are going to produce a renal failure and this renal failure results in the increased levels of the serum creatinine because the creatinine clearance is going to be reduced so serum creatinine levels are going to be increased when the ac inhibitors are used for a prolonged period so within this space we can fill with the creatinine next one and the amino acid present in this drug is so here it is ending with the nine so we can easily fill within the space it may be the alanine so alanine is one of the amino acid that can be coupled with the proline so it can form a alanyl proline then what is the drug now what is the name of this drug so with all the clues we have already discussed so the drug is a ac inhibitor ending with the suffix prill and this drug produces a dry cough as the side effect because of the accumulation of the bradykinin and hypotension is one of the common side effect of all these drugs this drug acts as a pro drug and in order to show its activity it should have a free carboxylic acid and it produces a renal failure as one of the side effect which results in the elevated levels of potassium and we have to monitor the creatinine levels when this drug is used for a longer period this drug is contraindicated in the pregnancy this drug is made up of two amino acids one is a proline and another one is alanine so it is a alanyl proline with all this information if you are able to identify what is the name of this drug just post the name of the drug in the comment box so that's for today if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video